125 books this month. Or this month. Oh, God. Imagine reading 125 books in a one month. That That's like 20 books a day. It's probably not, but I don't do math, so don't hold me accountable to that. Hey, guys. It's Jay, and today I am here with my 2016 resolution wrap-up. So I'm going to go over the goals that I set for myself in 2016 for reading and see if I accomplished them, which I did a lot of them, so I'm very, very proud of myself. And then I'm also going to tell you guys my 2017 resolutions for reading. So without further ado, let us get started. My first goal of 2016 was to read 50 books. And I kicked that goal's buttocks. I'm just saying. I read a total of 133 books for 2016. Which I honestly did not think was going to happen, but then, you know, I got my concussion and all I did was listen to audiobooks. So, I mean, does it count? Yes. Yes, it does. So that leads me to what my second resolution was, which was to try audiobooks. And as I just said, I listened to a crap ton of audiobooks and I love them. I haven't listened to any since I've been able to read again because I've just been reading all my books that I have because my TBR is ginormous. I haven't really been listening to any, so... You know, I should probably start that again. But the point is, I successfully tried audiobooks and I loved them, so there you go. My third goal for 2016 was to read more than just YA because all I really read was YA, so I wanted to branch out and I discovered the genre of thrillers. And it is now my favorite. I love thrillers. I will read all the thrillers in 2017. Hopefully, I just adore them. And I don't really like YA that much anymore. Like, I still enjoy it. I'll read them once in a while, but I would much rather read a thriller. My fourth goal for 2016 was to read at least one book per month. Which I did accomplish. And I didn't think I was going to accomplish this because of school, but I did. I did. Even if the book was just like 30 pages, it still counts. So I completed it. I'm counting it. High five, Jan. Thanks. My fifth goal. Oh, I don't even know why I tried because like, I knew it wasn't gonna happen. But I thought, you know, maybe. Maybe it'll happen. But, but it was to only buy four books every four months. I don't even want to talk about it. And then my sixth goal. Didn't happen. It was to read all the series that I had in my top five want to read series in 2016. The only one I actually did complete was the Lunar Chronicles. Five out of five stars. Oh god. Best series. Loved it. I mean, like, I haven't read Fairest or Stars Above, so it doesn't really count technically being done, but I read all the main books, so we're, we're gonna say that it counts. But I love that series, so... I mean, fail, but also a success, in my opinion. So I completed... Four out of six. I think that that deserves a pat on the back. Good job, JN. I mean, like, one of them was completely unrealistic, and the other one I knew wasn't gonna happen, so I'm still proud of myself. Now on to 2017 goals. Probably will fail at a couple of these too, but you know, we have high hopes for 2017. It's gonna be a good year, maybe. Hopefully. We'll see how that turns out. But my first goal, which is the one I'm probably probably going to fail at is I want to complete the series that I said I'm going to complete. So those include like Daughter of Smoke and Bones. I've read the first one, haven't read the second two. Vampire Academy, I read the first three, haven't finished the rest of them. Um, the Mortal Instruments. I mean like I finished The Infernal Devices, so that's, there's a start. But I've only read the first three Mortal Instruments and there's like a million more that I need to finish and actually complete. So that's a goal. Is it gonna happen? Maybe. My second goal is to read 125 books this year. I read 133 last year. Granted, I was out of school for a good chunk of the year because of my concussion. But, you know, we're gonna try. We're gonna push ourselves this 2017 and we're gonna, we're gonna get to that 125. If not, we might just get to like 50, but... We're gonna try either way. My third goal. This is the one I'm kind of iffy about. I don't know if it's gonna happen because I'm in school and my second semester is gonna be super hard, but we're gonna try. It is to read four books per month. So that's one book a week. Probably not gonna happen, but I'm hoping that it's gonna happen. But I also have little rules that go along with this. One is at least one of those books has to be diverse in some way. And two, one of the books has to be a arc because I have so many dang arcs that I need to get through. They're everywhere and 
people just keep sending me books and I don't read them. So this is the year of the arcs, we're gonna say. My fourth uh, resolution. Probably will not happen. And it is to only buy four books a month. Granted, every time I go to the thrift store, I end up buying five books, but one of them is free because it's like buy four, get one free. So I'm not counting number five as a book that I'm buying. So we're going with only buy four books a month. I should probably just read my TBR because it's ginormous. I mean, like I have all of these books, literally have not read any of these behind me. So that should probably happen. The only books I've actually read are on my shelf over there. And there's not that many if you really look at it. So... I probably should do a no buying book ban, but I don't have self control. Let's be serious. Number five. A lot of you are going to be happy about this, and it will happen. Like, this is the one that I'm going to make sure it happens. And that is to read Harry Potter. It doesn't have to be the whole series, no. If I don't like the first book, then that's fine. But I have to read the first Harry Potter because I feel like I'm left out of this little bandwagon, and everybody loves Harry Potter. And I just want to say that I've been, read the first book. That's my goal for 2017. Just the first book. If I like the rest, obviously I'll continue. But just that first book, it's going to happen. My sixth goal... Which is going to be probably the most difficult for me because I just I don't like doing it. Is that if I don't like a book, I'm going to put that book down. I'm going to DNF that book. And if you've been on my channel for a while, you know that I struggle with this. I don't like DNFing books because I'm like, push through. It's going to get better. It's, it's, it has to. And it never does. I don't know why I try to push through... I just feel like I shouldn't be allowed to, like, say I don't like a book unless I actually finish it. So I don't like DNFing. But the 2017 is going to be the year of the DNF. Hopefully not, but if it has to be, it will be. Alright guys, so those are my 2017 resolutions and my 2016... Accomplishments, I guess you could say. Four out of six is pretty darn good. So I will see you all in my next video. Hopefully I can actually, you know, do these goals.